no matter what, as we move it. Hello friends, welcome to Godlywood Studio and to Light of Knowledge. We have been discussing on various points of godly knowledge and along with it, we have been trying to compare two different models of social structure. One that we see today with all its advantages and disadvantages and the other one is the golden age of humanity, a perfect world. In that perfect world, how everything will be? This is one of the main discussion points that we take up today. And the topic for today is governance or administration. We know administration as for the present social structure. But how a new social structure will be? How will be the administration of the new world? Let us talk about this along with Rupa Benji. Benji, welcome to the topic. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Today we are going to talk about governance how the leadership and governance will look like in the golden age. Visualizing the golden age in our mind where everything will be perfect mm. because the one who rules mm. the kingdom himself will be a perfect and also a role model to all mm. subjects. This may be something uh, imagination, if at all we talk now, with comparison of the present mm. world order. Mm. Yet, it is a truth and also the one of the most uh, cream time of the world cycle. Mm. There, the governance is in one hand, mm. where he rules the kingdom in the sense, he is having a good relationship with the subject as a father and children. Hmm. Hence, there is no space for any kind of exploitation of the subjects. There is always giving. Hmm. Being in that highest position, let's say king, king will be uh, with the attitude of giving hmm. to his children. Hmm. And therefore, the subjects will be free from worry. Whether mm. we get anything for tomorrow or not, nobody is worried because everything is in such a perfect order. I have a doubt here. In the golden age also, if we have the king and the subject system, in India also, before we attained our independence, we had a lot of princely states. Mm. And there were kings and their subjects. And a lot of problems were going on. And that is why we replaced that system with democracy. So when you are saying that it is again, we are going back to that king and subject system, I don't know how far uh, can we accept it. See, this uh, human civilization, hmm. let's say 5000 years back, when we go with that golden time, hmm. we have history approximately maybe 2500 years tree. Mm. And in that also maybe 200 to 300 uh, years of history is somewhat like mixed up. Mm. Maybe it is disappeared. What the godly knowledge is giving us the understanding, this is the creation of God, this universe. Mm. The master of this universe is the Almighty, which mm. every individual or also every religious people do believe. And whenever there is a confusion, chaos, conflict takes place, everybody asks him mm. to make it in order. This itself shows there was a time when Almighty has made everything in perfect order. Mm. If it is a disorder today, it was in order at some point of time. Mm. Maybe that history we might have forgotten or it is not clearly written anywhere, mm. or it may not be expressed in the way it was, mm. uh, that may be the reason. For example, if uh, 300 to 400 years back in India, whatever the kings or their way of life was existing, this generation, less they are aware of it. Mm. So if we go to the very past, definitely, there should be some clarity. Somebody must be there, the historians and 
they have to explain in perfect order so that that same thing passes to the generation to generation. Mm. But actually what happens, uh, whenever the king's ruling power was there, if they were influenced by some or the other selfish motives, mm -hmm. that was creating problem. Mm. So like that, is why, that is why when you speak about this new model and when we hear that again the rule of king is about to come, so there is doubt in the mind. Because again those problems which subject have faced in every kingdom practically. If at all we see now even the democracy, are we not facing problems? Definitely we have many problems. So there is something, a disorder in each and every individual's life, mm. whether they are positioned in a king's place or a subject place. Mm. The disorder has become the order of every individual's life mm. in present society. Mm. If we turn our attention to other side, a world of perfection where every individual will be in order. Mm. Either he is a servant or a subject or a king, the position may vary from person to person, but every individual have the value based life. So you mean to say that that kingdom mm. will not look like the usual kingdom, the king and subject relationship which we are familiar with? Uh, no, not at all. Mm. Because uh, uh, we all believe God created world. Mm. If uh, God is perfect, his creation should also be perfect. Mm. Maybe the time passes and that perfect order um, memories have faded in the history and more and more conflict and disorder has mm -hmm. become to the maximum. So we are discussing about the same. And every civilization, every time in the history, every individual, whoever become the leaders, they are struggling to move the society towards a perfect order. Mm -hmm. So why is that so? If this is the disorder has become the uh, natural order of our life, then why our effort should be mm -hmm. to bring that perfection? So definitely, we crave for that. We wish to bring that perfect order in the sense where everybody will be happy, right? Mm. So, this can be created only through a divine intellect mm. or we say godly knowledge, which uh, a new wisdom drives humanity to create that world. Mm. I think when in the last episode we talked about leadership, I think here also in that perfect new world order, how a leader or a king would look like? See, there, there will be one kingdom, mm. uh, one will be the master, mm. he passes on the instructions mm. and there will be such a good cooperation, mm. so nobody will overrule his order. And mm. therefore, the order is not in the form of a order. Mm. It will be like a family gathering and mm. sharing the thought and they practically take care of that mm. into action. Actually, nobody will be giving orders as such. Therefore, mm. there is uh, the value of faith and love mm. with, will be there uh, to such a, uh, what we say, intensity by which I respect the position naturally. Mm. And there is no fear of losing my position. Everybody is fixed in their position with happiness. Mm. Even a sweeper will be happily sweeping. And a subject who is going to work in the farm, he will be happy because he feels whatever I am going to work, I will give all the grains to the king's um, treasure store and king is there to take care of me. So there is such a good relationship. There is no fear that if we give everything and I may not get tomorrow, mm. this kind of feelings will not be there because king will be 100% responsible to take care of all the things in order. Mm. Comparing it with the world today, uh, in a, in such a beautiful world, I think there won't be the need of any judicial form if there is nobody to take grab from others, no criminal uh, activities. See, judicially courts and these things has existed only few hundred years ago with mm -hmm. a faster face. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you see, in olden days, like whatever the kingdom we are aware much, during those days also, king was the person who is to take up the issue. Mm. I remember 
uh, in one of the oldest movie i have seen where the king takes care of the subject and one person who wants to give a complaint on some issue he has to come and ring the bell hmm. and the king from the palace he will come out hmm. and see the person who and he will directly speak to the person and take up the issue and clears then and there hmm. that itself shows the conflict and complaints are very few hmm. then going to back to the era of golden hmm. there won't be such issues at all and uh, nobody is going to harm anybody where is the issue of uh, complaining so benji comparing it with this model which we have now with all its advantages and a lot of disadvantages what can you suggest so that we can improve on this model which we have at present see first of all we have to understand the vision of the supreme almighty mm. how he would like to create such a beautiful world mm. which is not a dream it is a reality but since we are not uh, aware of that existence of the world and also the qualities which they had and uh, is it possible by me to reach that it is a question mm. therefore we say oh this is maybe nice to talk but not reality but it is truth so he is imparting that divine knowledge mm. so once we receive that we go on visualize that beautiful world of perfection and those qualities which is very much essential and which is there in us it is not for example truth mm. and equality and uh, justification love and most important value they will have is purity Mm. and therefore their intellect is so wise now 2500 years back what happens kings were there and prosperity was there in india and all over the world but the prosperity of purity the richness the royalty of purity which was the highest code of conduct of the character which was started losing mm. then you see the intellect gets polluted for example if i have more attachment with one person what will be my decision definitely it will be in favor of that yes, person yes that's mm. where it begins and little bit i have uh, some kind of appreciation of myself mm. and i want to show off this is what i am they don't know this is the ego entering then started entering and later it becomes more then i start comparison with that mm. and that's how downfall begins and absence of this then people were very happy and there is no wise as such the word wise is started only uh, from past 2500 years mm. and that's why the falling of morality the character losing this all become mm. in a very fast benji comparing with that system Uh, how would you suggest we improve this kind of model is it by giving more awareness or more classes or on meditation uh, what do you suggest first of all god is giving a clear vision of every individual soul that every soul was perfect in the beginning hmm. so let us start visualizing that and then there is a process that i have to understand what are the things i have to fill in my soul that awareness comes with the knowledge mm. if i believe that i was perfect in the beginning i was pure in the beginning i was loveful in the beginning then the steps will automatically take us towards that effort to reach that destiny of perfection mm. for which the divine knowledge helps because human memory is so short we hear now and then forget mm. so every day we have to go on take up one lesson and then supportive energy is i have become weak another person has become weak who will fill the power to do that mm. this is the main question every individual would like to be always positive and also fill with that qualities but who will give the power mm. and that is where the connecting our individual to the almighty matters here again we need to understand 
the entire truth about almighty mm-hmm. we need to discuss more about this truth about almighty in the coming episodes i think so that we can connect with him and take this power and today i think it is very clear that administrators can uh, spend a little bit time on contemplating on godly knowledge and meditation and as you said improve their own purity so that they don't need to take advice from somebody else they themselves can do it with a clarity of mind thank you very much for today's discussion dear friends i think uh, today we have understood by the discussion so far that administration can be done in a beautiful way if we keep our mind very pure take that message into our deeper hearts and try to improve on it and now it is time for the question from the public my name is ashish and i i have finished plus 2 and my question is that everyone doing purusharth to go to satyug but animals are not uh, doing purusharth then uh, but uh, in satyug animals are also have lived so how uh, about animals Vijay, that is a question which is coming to the mind of anyone who is following the godly knowledge, because mm-hmm. it is often said in the versions that human beings has to do the practice. So, what about animals? In this universe, the creation of God, the most beautiful as well as most intelligent creation is human beings. Mm. Though animals are there, who are also having their own limited. understanding power as well as uh, their own intelligence mm. but it is instant intelligence and human beings have the quality different when it is compared to animals or any other species mm. the very best quality that human beings are blessed by god is the power of understanding mm. and they are able to think of the past and future and they can do what they wish to they can wish to do something and make effort specifically with that direction and in this universe man is uh, kept in a position where he can influence everything hmm it may be animals or any other things also hmm whichever is material and immaterial mm. we have already talked in past episode about the mental pollution and how human ah. soul can affect Huh. all the other even including atmosphere see animals i really would like to share one small uh, real incident mm. um i have one pet dog it is living with us and it was very small when it came but as we know in our centers we are eating very simple food and uh, very quiet atmosphere whenever we sit in meditation there won't be any other sound whenever we sit in meditation that particular dog wherever it is it will come and sit in meditation mm. quietly and until we get up it won't make any movement and whatever food we are eating it will take only satvic food even if we give little bit of the oily food or some mm. uh, masala like that it won't accept third thing i have observed little bit we get angry by even losing temper little bit loudly we talk with anybody it start shouting hmm so this is a live example i am telling but this itself shows that the quality of human souls will affect animals and if we uplift ourselves automatically they will also get uplifted mm. when she it has already come up in many scientific experiments mm. those who are studying animals has already said that the pet animals they imbibe the character of their masters mm. uh, a quiet dog you can find in the house of a quiet person mm. and a shouting dog in the house of a shouting person so i think uh, that point is very clear one more thing in india they have written in many holy books and also it is a uh, practical uh, experience also when we start telling that om dhwani no sound of om mm-hmm. number of times they say uh, of course in india in many places holy places or doing any rituals also the word om is very common mm-hmm. the vibration of that 
particular world allows any kind of poisonous creatures away since hmm they start moving away and making that place more and more cleaner and uh, worthy to live hmm this is also one of the uh, real example so when we think of the golden age you just visualize all souls are pure mm. everybody is having good qualities nobody is having any vices all the animals also will be imbibing those qualities yes. of those mm. who are living and there. that's why you see in mm. india uh, we show in bhagavat along with krishna very beautiful cows will be there mm. and they will decorate and even they themselves the creation itself is so beautiful mm. uh, that kind of animals are shown and always uh, above the krishna's head we show the um, feathers of the peacock, peacock which mm. is very beautiful these are all some of the symbols significance mm. signs that that world will have absolute beauty even in animals mm. i think all these things we have read in the scriptures but we haven't connected to it in such a beautiful way as godly knowledge reveals i think benji that question has been beautifully answered what i understand from this is when we change the world changes along with us because human soul is so influential that it can change everything that is why god is concentrating only on human beings not on other animals so now dear friends we move on to the last part of the session that is our attitude virtue and contemplation benji what is today's attitude today's virtue and let us reflect on it today's attitude let us take uh, the attitude of being authentic hmm authentic is truthful inside and outside hmm in other words being real you can say real hmm. uh real inside as well as outside hmm. as i am uh here you see if a person is in the place of administration or a highest position the down steps people who are in the lower level position they don't know what the administrator is doing mm. the message passes on through so many other channels and finally if that message is good they appreciate if it is having any query they can't directly mm. meet that person so there is a gap but real means it's very clear mm. even the highest order person can communicate directly to that lower level positioned person that link will be so clear that's also one of the meaning and real is the truth i am soul and body is temporary so in golden age every individual will be in that state of real consciousness hmm. and nobody will get attached to the bodily conscious which is temporary and which will deceive the soul hmm. and uh, provoke to do uh, false action and the supportive virtue we take up royalty mm. when a person is having authenticity definitely he will be royal mm. there is no need of pretending can you uh, give a quick explanation of how royal will uh, look like a royal is unattached with anything mm. and one more he maintains his own dignity mm. and uh, we compare this virtue with an elephant mm. elephant is very royal and it doesn't depend on anybody and always move with a very uh, dignified manner dignified manner. focus you know mm. even many animals people around they'll be shouting it doesn't care mm. it has got its own majestic way of uh, movement and uh, a royalty is something um, they don't put an eye on others things that means uh they are so happy and satisfied within mm-hmm. and they don't have any uh, distractions mm, i think benji that explains it beautifully now can we have as a last part of the session a reflection on these thoughts sit in a comfortable position focus your attention on the forehead i the master of this body a tiny point of light
I am the master, the king of this body and all the organs and even I am the master of my mind, intellect and impressions. Being in this position, I keep in order all my sense organs. I am real. I am a beautiful child of Supreme having all the power to control my physical sense organs as well as subtle organs like mind intellect and results. When I hold this position and sit in the seat of master, simultaneously I am controlling the outside world. linking my mind with the Supreme Father who is the master of this universe drawing the power from him I allow my mind to think what I wish I allow my intellect to take proper decision in each step and try to fill in my impressions the most beautiful qualities the values and powerful positive impressions which will help me to get transformed and allow me to enter into that golden world Om Shanti Thanks a lot Benji for taking us through those thoughts it was quite kind of soothing experience when we dive deep into the mind and find those gems those treasure thank you very much thank you dear friends as usual it has been a revealing journey we have looked into administration or governance Governance is so important in any social structure and as Benji revealed a little bit of attention is all we need in order to bring about that change that big leap which awaits us the golden age of humanity and if we find time every day to listen to godly knowledge to clean our inner negativities I think all of us can bloom into wonderful leaders with royalty and dignity and that will be a big step in the history of humankind also. So keep along with us in this journey to know more about this godly knowledge and any of your suggestions, any of your doubts that you'll be having in your mind, please feel free to send an email or call us in our number. So until we meet again in the next episode with a new topic, it is a goodbye from all of us in the studio. Thank you very much. <laughs>